Hey guys, it's back in today's video. I'm going to be doing my 2019 year in review. This is my fourth take. If this one doesn't work, I'm gonna lose my freaking marbles. In January, I rang in the new year with my friend Milen, who is from Canada, and we met through The Walking Dead, which I admittedly have not watched since season 10, episode one. Sorry. Also in January, I watched the solar eclipse with my older sister and it was just absolutely magical and I was super excited for people to experience that and like just view it. In February, I went to Ghost Stories, which is an event put on by Aster Services. Um, well, <sighs> sorry, I can't speak. It's an event that helps benefit Aster Services. It's put on by Jeffrey D. Morgan and Hilary Burton. And you, if you get a certain, like, th their VIP thing, you get to meet them, like, get to flow with them, you get to sit really close, and, like, the proceeds benefit Aster. Sorry, I got that messed up for, got that messed up for a second. In March, we got the news that Supernatural ended, and I sobbed, and I was very upset about it, and I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just not gonna talk about it anymore, because I'm gonna cry. Um... I also hit two years clean from self-harm and I baked my first vegan cake from scratch and I was just super proud of myself and really excited. You know, like that's a huge milestone for me especially because I still struggle and I still got stuff going on and I am proving my past self wrong every single day. In April we lost one of our cats, her name was Jif, or Jiffy, we called her Jiffy more than we called her Jif, but we didn't even have her for that long. We had her for maybe two years. I think it was a little less than two years. And she just started to get really sick. And unfortunately, you know the rest. And she was in my arms when it happened. And when I think about it for too long, I get really sad and it just i don't know it was an honor to be able to hold her but it was also like kind of dramatic um but i absolutely adored that cat we all did she was she was a witch but she was she was our witch she was a sweetheart at she was a witch and a sweetheart at the same time but we absolutely loved her and that was one of the really big sad things that happened in 2019 for me and my family in May, I started Game of Thrones. I had been putting off watching Game of Thrones for so long because my mom loved it and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna watch it. Um, and then she started like watching like certain episodes to prepare for um, season eight. And so I had been watching some of them with her and then it convinced me to start it. So I started after Jiffy died and I got hooked. I got extremely hooked on the show, and for what? Because the ending sucked! So, um, in June, a lot of stuff happened. That was like my big month. Um, I went to New York City Pride. I went to a local Pride. I We got our newest member of the family named Rowena. She's my beautiful little baby. She She's a cat, if you didn't know. Um, I watched my little sister graduate from high school. I saw the two, I saw 21 Pilots for the fourth time. And I got noticed by Lena Headey. You heard me right. Lena Headey. Cersei Lannister on Instagram. And I, I remember I was crying. In July... I went to the beach with my mom, my little sister, and one of her friends. It was just fun because that was the only time I went to the freaking beach. So I'm putting it in this video. Deal with it. Um, I met baby pigs at a vegan food festival, which was just highlight of my life. And I went on vacation with my dad and my sisters. We stayed in a cottage on a lake. And although I did not even go out on the lake, it was still fun. It was still really fun. We watched like the stars one night, even though there's bugs everywhere. And we watched like a th like watched like multiple thunderstorms. And me and my dad, like we like 
we tried to hike, but we got lost instead. And it was, it was really a nice time. In August, I moved to my third college and I saw the most beautiful rainbow ever with two of my roommates. And it was just, it was just a magical time. You just, you just had to be there. Um, in September, I went to a supernatural convention in New Jersey and got two photo ops with Jared, got, I don't know how many photo ops with Ruth and selfies with Ruth and I met Emily Swallow and Lisa Berry and Kim Rhodes and Jensen and Misha and Rob and Rich and Elena and oh my gosh who like the list just is endless and I met so many internet friends and we all had a great time together and it was just a super fun experience that I still have not made a video about so I will do that eventually sometime in October, why do I have this here in October? No, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even remember anything big going on in October. I think I just watched Hocus Pocus a lot because I had something on my list, but it didn't happen in October. So I got nothing for October. I just, watch Hocus Pocus a lot um, but in November I turned 21 I got initiated into my sorority which I'm super happy about because I just love those girls so much I also went to the supernatural convention in DC it was planned in a month this convention was very last minute and I was I was supposed to see Jared but stuff happened and he couldn't go um but i did get a photo op of jensen alex and ruth and it was super fun and it was a really great convention i got really close with the people that i went with and it was just it was just a fun um and in december I passed all my classes, which I thought wasn't going to happen because my mental health was kind of crazy. And my math class that I was taking was extremely difficult for no reason at all. It was like set theory and like logic, like stuff like that. Like I didn't know I needed that as a political science major, but I guess I do. Um, and last but not least, I spent New Year's Eve at one of my very close friends house and got to spend time with people, the supernatural family, um, which I was just so happy to do i'm so glad that my mom decided to drive <laughs> to like to take me there because i had such a good time um so that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i mean like this video is like kind of late but like at least i'm posting it okay and my cat she's growling and she's she's going through some i guess but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a super awesome day <laughs>